On Saturday 17th of November, dozens of hackers and coders and other computer type people gathered at MadLab in central Manchester for, well, let's hear them speak for themselves. I'm Stephen Flower, I'm a founder member of Open Data Manchester and today we've got the Manchester Hackathon which is lots of great people working with Open Data uh, from across Greater Manchester to make apps, web websites and uh, visualisations. What is Open Data? Uh, open Data is uh, data stroke information that's openly available for people to use and reuse uh, to, to make things with and Open Data generally is around uh, public data, so information from local authorities, governments and the like, including uh, where is my nearest um, uh, car park meter through to how much does the council spend uh, on X person or X, or X company each month. Hey, um, I'm Melanie Barker from Manchester City Council and um, I'm part of the communications department and we're here supporting the Hackathon because we realise that open data is, is important to our residents and as a result we'd like to have something that's usable and accessible and um, good for residents to access our services. And what kind of data have you released for the hackers downstairs to use? Um, we've got a full range of um, data such as the tree population in Manchester, right up to the schools that are in your area um, that you might want to access to find out which primary schools you want to send your children to, or which parks you want to go to on your day off. And will there be more of these events? We hope so. This is a bit of a trial run for us, so we want to see um, what works, what doesn't work, and if it does work, yeah, we want to do more. Um, I'm Dave Carter, I'm head of the Manchester Digital Development Agency here in Manchester and we're supporting the Hackfest Hackathon here uh, at Mad Lab and that's, what that's trying to do is get real data that's in the city out into the open and then appealing to the developer community to say as this data comes out of the open, what can you do with it? Uh, it's great, it seems to uh, really improve uh, people's prior access to the services or improve the, uh, the information they have about things juice. that are happening in the city uh, so or it sure give them more of a voice to feed back in to the city. So it's a real opportunity to think completely out of the box and to try and come up with some really innovative ideas. And you're doing some judging in about an hour's time? Yeah, there's a number of categories. I mean, you know, points means prizes and these kind of things. And I think it's really important that people get rewarded for giving up their time. And so we've been lucky enough to get a small amount of money uh, uh, to give away some small prizes. And then there will be a, a, a best of prize, which isn't just, is more than simply just some money. It's, it's actually some help with developing the app. Uh, further with some real developer time being added into that. So let's see what happens.